Hey, Dr. Shook here. Today I want to share with you and talk to you about a common reason that people have fatigue with Hashimoto's disease that's not related to their thyroid hormone levels. It's actually due to the autoimmune process expanding to and attacking neurological tissues or brain tissue. Now what they found is that the thyroid peroxidase antibody, this is what your doctor checks when they find out you have Hashimoto's. If your thyroid peroxidase antibodies are elevated, then that is the best marker that you have Hashimoto's. They found that that antibody can cross the blood-brain barrier and attach to neurological tissues causing neuroinflammation. And this is something that anyone that has Hashimoto's should be suspicious of because it attaches very strongly to the back part of the brain called the cerebellum. This can lead to a lot of different symptoms in its worst form, it's called Hashimoto's encephalopathy. So the most important thing that you need to understand is that fatigue can and is commonly caused by neuroinflammation in people with Hashimoto's.